Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a Alpha Clone Fit for T1 Electric Abyss. T1 Abyss is something that is, you know, a nice new bro activity, but it's something that is hard to jump in directly straight away. Um, I can do that with a Punisher, or with like the 1 million skill uh, SP point referral link you can find in the description below, but it is still, it requires a lot of piloting skill and to be honest, it's not the best option, I would say, in my opinion, for day one people. Even though I would say it is possible, it's just very difficult. You need to know, you need to be very good when it comes to your parting skills, make very few errors. However, when it comes to the destroyers, I have a lot more, it's a lot easier to get the DPS required to really kill stuff pretty fast. And in essence, being able to survive easier in the abyss. So I think that destroyers are a good alternative for new players to do abyssal stuff. And I'm here with a dragoon fit for some basic calm t1 electrical filaments so the good thing about the electrical filaments is that they you know give us a capacitor bonus and they are also very cheap they cost like hardly anything in fact the tranquil filaments the t0 variants cost more uh, they just uh, apparently the calm electricals are just less popular and uh, it's, it's very useful for us because we can put some pretty decent uh, tank guns. We've got two armor repairs, damage control, nanobot accelerator, and an auxiliary nanopump in a fit that's only worth 13 million. And in fact, it's worth less because I've got a bunch of loot here from before. You can see all this loot right here. I've got from previous sites to be done. So it's in fact cost less than like 10 million, I think. So it's a very, it's a very little, good little ship right here. One thing that I would recommend strongly for alpha clones, because I'm in a guy who's got the same skills as an alpha clone. Uh, I grew right here. He is an Omega clone, but he's only trained Alpha clone skills. So you can, if you're an Alpha clone, you can become just as good as him. In fact, you become better because he's not got the best skills you could have for uh, being an Alpha clone. Um, you can get a lot better. Something I would strongly recommend is you get Tech Two drones, you get light missiles to Tech Two light missiles, and you also you get Tech Two uh, auto cannons right here because you will have a lot better time when it comes to just in general uh, fighting stuff when you have more DPS with the Tech 2 variants of weapons because they are very, very, very powerful Tech 2 variants of weapons. Here we have a Leshak room. Something with the Leshaks is that they are very, they have got very good tracking, so we will not want to approach directly. You want to sort of get in range, get a little bit from the side, and then as soon as we can, put our drones on him. We can just have the drones start attacking as soon as they're in range, 40 kilometers. It's a bit annoying, you know, when you there he's so far out that you can't get in range. But he's also trying to kite us a little bit like the little scrubby is. But you can see here, our drones are now going to just be able to get in range. There we go. Now we can head towards the buy adaptive cache and just land a missile right there. And if we want to avoid as much damage as possible, we can just go like perpendicular to him, like 90 degrees, like this. You can see it's perfect because the buy adaptive cache is basically like 90 degree right here between uh, my path and the Leshak, reducing uh, the DPS as much as possible. So the drone's on him. We're just going to go here and grab the loot. And as soon as we're done with that, we'll just, he'll basically be dead. And we can go to the uh, transfer conduit to, you know, go to the next room. It's as simple as that. We would obviously do this fast if we had Tech 2 drones. Um, something that is good about the Tech 1 drones, though, and the reason I've not got the faction drones is just because the faction drones, they cost a lot. So you lose them, you lose quite a bit of risk. Tech 2 drones, they are cheaper. So it's a lot nicer to lose them than the faction drones. Uh, but if you don't have the Tech 2 drones, then I'd just recommend going with the Tech 1 ones, not the faction ones, because you will very likely lose your faction drones sooner or later in the Abyss. And I would prefer to lose the, uh, the Tech 1 variants than losing the faction drones any day. Uh, the DPS boost is very nice from the uh, faction variants of Tech 1 drones, but... I would still say it's worth it more in the long run when your ISK power to go for um, some faction drones. So that's why I've grouped them up into groups. You can see here cheap. Uh, I've got like these all called cheap. Uh, I could in fact have made a third group here. I've just got 10 here. I was being a bit lazy right here. If I were to have the Tech 2 light missiles, Tech 2 200mm auto cannons would do much more DPS. It would be a lot of quick. And also if I had Tech 2 drones as well, I would have a lot more DPS. But I, even if you are able to fly Tech 1, Tech 2 drones, it will be a lot more relaxing experience in general just to go with Tech 1 because you could just lose drones all day and not even break a sweat. Like these cost basically nothing there. You could essentially, they're essentially free. Like they cost so little, it's like a meaningless loss to lose them. The only thing it really costs you is time to place new drones in your hangar or your drone bay after losing them. Because see here, pop this guy right here. And also one thing I want to just mention that 
this is not like a fit that is meant for alpha clones to like just directly just jump into this as soon as you can fly you can see here if you want to look at my statistics right here so this is the dps this is the tank these are the resistance this is the capacitor when in the electrical site um it's not like something just you just boop, go in directly because i have got some skills in this guy it's not like a complete noob but he you, there are more alpha clone skills i can train on this guy this is definitely not the best either so what i'm saying is you know when you get when you've got some decent skills not the best but not the worst then you should be like in the middle getting a similar stats to what i've got you should have a pretty easy time uh the one of the most dangerous waves i found is the rogue drop battle cruiser wave it's not really that dangerous because you can uh, you can you know keep range from them because they're very easily kiteable they have very crap range as battle cruisers but they will wreck you if you do get close so you want to be really careful for them they will break your tank because we have got pretty good tank here that we can survive most things but that is one thing we will not be able to survive if we get up close that leg shack also can be quite dangerous but as long as you just kill it get the drones on it as soon as possible you won't have much uses at all like we saw before because the thing is with the leshak they have pretty good tracking so they are there is a battleship that has more likelihood to hit you compared to other kinds of battleships that are out there and the, as i said before the rogue drone valkyrie will hit you as long as you're in range um just keep outside like 15 kilometers and you'll have no issues uh, you'll have no issues with the rogue drone valkyries uh when the rogue drone valkyries are the waves that are called like tessera or something they're called tessera or something uh not tesla tessera the Tessera ones, they are the battle crews that will just absolutely wreck you if you get close. They have really high DPS, really short range. That's mainly the thing that you want to keep in mind. Um, also, another thing to note about those guys, they will love to kill your drones. They love to kill your drones. They will kill your drones if they get close. If you have tech 2, good skills, then maybe they will survive one shot if you're lucky. But even then, they will probably one shot your drones. And uh, just to keep that in mind, you will very likely lose drones and those waves so that's another good reason that we want to go in cheap here with the drones and you can see there something we go right there is a wrecking shot from that battleship over there wrecking shot is a shot that can happen where irregardless of tr transversal so we can say here we're going like in a good angle like we're going pretty fast we're going not directly on towards this guy um this guy still managed to managed to hit me and the reason is because he got a wrecking shot and the wrecking shot is maybe like a one or something percent chance i think it happens that oh we lost even a drone we can just deploy my drones it doesn't matter these are very cheap drones you want to keep a range from that deviant automatic suppressor though because he's going to annihilate our drones um but when it comes to wrecking shots there's a tiny chance that they can happen and they will do a lot of damage because they do hit big but um, just keep in mind that uh, they can always happen and you increase the likelihood by like, flying directly on so you see we took a lot of damage but it was just a rare chance we repaired our armor straight away so don't panic if you see one of those wrecking shots um just as long as it doesn't completely one shot you but that's not really what should happen here okay so we want to now get in range oh we're losing a lot of drones now probably recall our drones uh, go recall our drones and i want to shoot our uh, want to shoot this little dro um, rogue drone right here spark needle tesla when we get in range of we'll actually go for this uh, this uh, biocomment of cash right here just to get this first and then we're going to orbit this battle cruiser or this battleship at 500 because there we go four million right there so that's pretty decent we just done with that fierce electrical filament the electrical filaments that are of higher tiers are worth quite a bit okay so when basically all you want to do here is you want to orbit this guy at 500 so you want to just sort of approach an arc you don't approach directly on but you want to sort of approach in an arc and then you want to orbit at 500 use your auto cannons to get through this guy and that's really as simple as it can be so just you know after your drones go go crazy go crazy on this guy now you could probably orbit at 500 and he will not be able to shoot you and you'll be doing max damage with your auto cannon which is, has a very tiny range and your light missiles another wave that is very dangerous or that can be very dangerous is the angel wave you'll see something like lucifer dramiel or lucifer cinnabal something like that the reason those waves are dangerous is because they can get you very quickly so they can like they've got really fast speed so you won't be able to outrun them 
and they will be applying full damage to you because they will be able to get close to you and apply the damage they're like mainly frigates and cruisers that have good tracking so you will have to just basically tank everything um that's why we've got this auto cannon because this has got good for close range because they will orbit you very close so you'll be able to kill them very quickly uh, you'll probably want to kill the dramiels or cinnabels first those two are the highest damage types and then after that just you know kill the rest that's the one way also to keep in mind that could be dangerous there you may even have to overheat a tiny bit depending on your skills just keep in mind the angel waves can be quite deadly it's an orbit here you see this we're not taking any damage he's missing every shot he's just like no you could not shoot me you're gonna cheat like this like here yeah, i'm just like a like a elite pilot just <laughs> he's missing every perfectly missing my ship so we just go past like that i just orbit completely dodge everything and we're just shooting him with our auto cannons doing a lot of damage so these auto cannons you can sort of think of them they're like a weapon system just to aid a little bit and i just aid a little bit when it comes to these battleship waves right here because the battleship wave generally speaking they take quite a long time to do just because of the amount of hit points they have it's not like the previous wave where we had a bunch of rogue drones that died very quickly um here it's just you want to have as much dps as possible so that's also a good thing about having this short range ammunition right here like a bit of combination going on so that you, because these things do quite a bit of damage you can see we've got three light missile launchers here they only do 32 damage but per second but we've got two 200 millimeter auto cannons and they do 43 damage two do more than three of these guys it's just that these guys have a really short range which is the whole reason why they have high damage so it's kind of a, bit of a compensation you could say well, that's quite useful in these situations right here we've got a very high hp targets going on right here so probably it's about time that I sell this loot to be honest because we've got basically almost the whole ship's worth of <laughs> cargo uh, going on right here this is the from previous sites obviously but we've got like four or five million from this site right here i've got more even you could sometimes get lucky and get like a t4 filament or something like that like a raging something for example like one of these right here raging electrical 13 million or raging exotic 10 million something like that or even a raging gamma for 7 million so that if you're lucky you would get one of those you can get some nice isk right there basically your whole ship already paid for oh and we're approaching downtime too as well so uh, this dragoon doing it hopefully fast enough before the downtime C come on dragoon speed up man speed up you gotta do this time before downtime uh, if it actually happens that you uh, log off or not log off but like get disconnected when it goes into downtime don't worry you won't lose your ship uh, in fact this would be a perfect time just to get into downtime because we've got all the loot because what will happen is if you are in an abyss site and downtime happens you'll just respawn somewhere in the system you use the abyssal trait uh, abyssal site or the abyssal key uh, and you'll spawn like in a random location in the system like many many kilometers from other structures so you'll be very far away in a completely random location like in the complete middle of nowhere in the system and you will keep all the loot you've looted so this even if i were to disconnect here i mean it would not really matter i maybe would lose my drones but i would have all the loot so in actuality you could almost say that it would be a way to quickly do the site to be honest but there we go we did the time right here nothing too complicated nothing too complicated the dragoon is just very it's very tanky this fear i've got right here just because of the way we've got the two armor repairs damage control spicing up everything you know it's a it's a very tanky sh little ship right here uh, and you also got some you know, decent dps not the best but we've got pretty decent damage projection like we can hit far with our light missiles we can hit far with our drones of 40 kilometers so we can like hit far you could many ships in evil line they'll have very good dps but they can only really do up close here we can hit the the uh, hit hard for almost all the ranges we are at just sometimes people will be outside my drone or missile range but you know it'll just it's okay it doesn't really matter not too much to worry about but either way you can see here downtime about to happen on me i can i guess i could really try to warp to a station but i don't think it'll really matter right now so there we go dragoon for alpha clones t1 electric abyss worked good so far i've done many of these sites and i really had any issues the only thing to just think about are those rogue drone battle cruiser waves which will wreck your drones and wreck you if you get up close but you just have to keep a range uh, the angel waves uh, just make sure you just kill the dramiels and the cinnabals first because they will get close to you and they will do a lot of damage because they can apply pretty well and um, maybe you want to overheat your armor pairs a bit in case you do start taking a lot of damage otherwise it's just really a case of just killing them before they can kill you really that's all it is 
Uh, otherwise, just getting range of your drones. Nothing really too complicated right here. You're on about from doing these sites, I would say about 30 million an hour, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on your um, your luck. You know, you could, as I told you before, you could sometimes get a filament worth 10 million plus from just one site. Doing uh, depending, it depends a little bit on the, the spawns as well, how fast you do these. For example, here we got uh, we finished the site in just over 10 minutes, but I've many times finished the site in maybe five minutes or something like that just because of the good spawns, like those rogue drone waves we did first, the Leshak wave we did first. You know, I basically just had to approach the loot and go approach the gate. That was all it really was. There was nothing more to it. It was just so fast right now. So it depends a lot on what kind of spawns you get as well, how much ISK you would get power. But it's a pretty chill experience, chill experience. I uh, hope you guys found the video useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.